Morning, Matt. Morning. Hey, Turf TV, this is Matt Dominguez. We're here on location at the Wolf with the Chris and uh, Ballsy show. Right. And let's get behind again. And then for, for it to start raining and thundering and the fans to stay there and to come out and then mm -hmm. win that game, that was probably the best game I've been a part of. All those factors in there. Now, I gotta wow. put yourself in DJ Flex shoes for a minute. Were you? Because that was a 14 point turnaround on that game. He's wide open in the end zone, and then, yeah. he, then he was using Scott Schultz's hands to catch the ball. <laughs> did, did, did you, uh, like, have you been in a case like that? How do you rebound from something like that? I don't, I don't, I've never dropped a wide open touchdown. You know, we, <laughs> me and Flick have already talked about this. You know, we've already had our jokes about it, but I've never dropped a wide open touchdown. But, but right after that happened, mm -hmm. on the way back, you know, I'm saying, hey, you got to let that one go because you know we got a lot of game to play, hmm. and you can tell you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, a drive later he's he's yeah. he scored another touchdown. So, Absolutely. but you know it's one of those things. You're a professional. You got to get past it. And Where's the difference with this team this year? Because you guys were in Edmonton and you lose a typical rider game. Which I was at. A typical oh, rider game. Oh. In past years, most recent years, you guys would have imploded and gone on a four-game losing skid. <laughs> but instead, you turned it around and went the other way and won four in a row here. Well, you. Ken has really been good about making sure that we focus on the game at hand and not looking too far, too far ahead in the future, and not and, and enjoying what we've done, but knowing that you know always instilling us that we still have a lot of work to do. And because of all that, we've been able to put some games together and, and, and play as a team. When you got a baby, you're always late. <laughs> hey, well, the other half of the dynamic duo made it in here. We had Matt Dominguez earlier, and now the new papa, Scott Schultz, is here. Is that why you're late? Or? Yeah, those uh, when the real bullets are flying, those diapers are tough. <laughs> <laughs> so how's fatherhood been, dude? It's been awesome. Yeah. Uh, you know, Matt and all the guys that have kids have been telling me your life will change. Well, it changes. It changes. <laughs> and how's it changed immediately for you? Oh, just the lack of sleep. Um, are you chafing around the nipple area? Yeah, yeah. My, my nips are a little, a little chapped right now. And so yeah, it's still here. So what kind of father are you going to be? Um, Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, I, for me now, it's the uh, my biggest, my biggest challenge in life is is to keep boys away from her until she's about thirty. As I'm sure Matt That's knows. That's Saskatchewan kid, though. When you've seen some bad football, you've been a part of some bad football, <laughs> some good football, too. But, okay, so I'm sitting on my couch because I didn't brave the rain. I went after the pregame thing back to my house because yep. I bought a big screen. So I got Schultz I got Schultz and Dominguez <laughs> live in color. And I'm thinking, okay, we're going to beat the Eskimos, the hated Eskimos, first place since, uh, for probably since you were in a soother, in yep. a diaper, right? I'm, I'm, I'm all pumped for this. And then the lights go off. I'm like, are you kidding me? It couldn't get any. Like, what is going on here? Like, and you guys were down too yeah. at that point. Yeah. 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 You know? But that was right after your fumble. You caused it. You got the, like, the fumble no, recovery. John, John Chick, Chick. Uh, he, uh, he forced oh. it. I think uh, he came up so fast, this guy. And let me say, he's not a chick. He's a full grown man. Okay. He came, and the punter, like, the all time, like, just crazy move, doesn't he? He just drops it. Yeah, it was. And for fear of getting hit, just. Yeah. Matt, he dropped it. Yeah, yeah. He, he went like this one. Oh, you swear you DJ <laughs> Click? Yeah. So then, nice. yeah. Nice. So then, so then I put the belly on it. And I come up with it, and uh, I got in a little trouble from Kent for kicking the ball afterwards. Wait, did you see oh, yeah? Schultz punt the yeah. head out of the ball in like the third row? Yeah. Yeah. Why did he not get his leg up that high? <laughs> he comes up, okay, we're sitting on. <laughs> well, I guarantee it wasn't over my waist. <laughs> uh, but uh, he comes up to me on the sideline after before the blackout. And he, I'm thinking he's going to congratulate me, and he's, the all-time classic phrase, he says, Dude, you cannot kick the football. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, hey, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I heard the funniest story about Kent, the guy I work, with, work out with. He said that uh, he's friends with Chris Zarka, and he came up to Zarka, mm -hmm. Austin after practice, and said to Zark, I want you guys to come a little earlier tomorrow for practice. And Zark snidely said, well, you got to, you know, CFLPA says you got to give us 48 hours notice. And he said, do you want to be playing in Hamilton next week? <laughs> <laughs> and then they make a trade with Hamilton for Corey Holmes. Yeah. Yeah, were you guys shocked by that trade? I was. I was really shocked. And then, I, you know, I, it was, it was, it's always bittersweet because you know, Armstead's a great guy. Um, and then to see him go from our team to that team was, is, is big right there. But we get, we get Corey Holmes back, and, and that's also, that's, you know, that's, you know, we get in the special teams player of the year the last time he was here. Yeah, absolutely. The, yeah. And a local kid yeah. who's going to help out, too, in uh, Get Slash. So. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing, you know, it, like, I, I can remember sitting around, and, and uh, I had a friend call me that he heard on the radio, so I was shocked. Like, none of the, none of the players, I'm like, what? No way. Really? You think that, you're thinking, like, it's, you know, some bozo talking on one of those, you know, stupid chat rooms or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I call up. O'Day and to see if he knows he doesn't know anything and then it gets around and we, we, we call our people and our resources and we find out it's the real deal so I was pretty shocked you know um, yeah. Army's a great guy and, and all that stuff but again to get Corey Holmes 
back in uh, back in uh, Ryder Town is is pretty you know, pretty it was, special. It was weird because that making more use of that, huh? Hey, what's what's awesome is when he takes it off, he's got the line right here. Like yeah. This. <laughs> yeah, right. Rod's got this line like this from the camera. I don't really do it. <laughs> yeah, looks... I don't have it against my eye. We're trying to rock station 104.9, the wall flying high again from Ozzy. Defense, like unbelievable. I I don't know. I wouldn't say not was a lot expected, but uh, you guys lost some guys, so a lot of question marks going in. Well, I think it's you have a you have a core group of guys that have been here for a long time, dating back to like 2001. Uh, we got some new guys in there, and uh, you know Richie's. It's been the same defensive plan and scheme for for that many years. So I think you see a lot of the veterans are are understanding that in order for us to be successful, we have to communicate and really bring the younger guys along. And I think you're seeing a lot of that. As good as Ken Austin's been, and everybody's talking about coach of the year, a lot of people are talking that Richie Hall should be coach of the year. Yeah, I mean, I mean Richie definitely deserves it. He's uh, he's definitely a, a great X and O's guy, uh, a great communicator, and uh, you know. He, he, we, we've shown that even with injuries, we can put people in there and still be successful. So I think that's a, a big attribute. What was up with Edmonton complaining? Oh, we got like nine guys out of the lineup. How many guys do you guys have out of the well, lineup? Well, I mean that's the thing, and we're we, you know, it, it's just I think it's the attitude of our head coach. Yeah, I mean, it's just philosophy. We don't talk about it. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, uh, the way I look at it is, I I say, big, you know, that's how that's how a, a young player is able to make an impact and arrive on the scene is. You pray for someone to get hurt so you can get in there and do your thing. Uh, when, when you're a young guy in the wings, well, at the same time, yeah, it's, it's not you don't want to give anybody any uh, excuses. You know, you play with the people that are on the field and you play play hard and and, and you're you're expected to make plays. That's the way it is. So regardless if you're not playing with your starting whatever, you know the guy that steps in's got to step in. You know what Absolutely. I like that there's accountability. Andy Fantuz comes with a lot of credentials and uh, he probably has a good upside and he's starting to slowly get his confidence back. You see, but he had that bad game in Edmonton and Kent sat him down. Past years. He would have still played. That's yeah. what I like. There's accountability with the. Dave, you mentioned chat asking. rooms. Do you guys go online to these chat rooms just to kind of peruse and see what people are saying about you, or do you ignore all that stuff? I used to. I yeah, used to. I'm with Schultz. I used to a while back, but then uh, you, you know, it gets to a point where you know they're so up and down because of every game. So all yeah, of a sudden, right. things are great. Then everything's great on the chat room. Then when things are bad. Then fire everybody. Yeah. This guy's terrible. So you gotta you gotta at least stay away from him. Yeah, there, there's. I don't know. I mean. I mean, I hope the majority of our fans on there because I'm going to say something that's not too too good. It's, spade, spade. There's so. just a lot of meatheads on there. It's it's uh, it's one of those things where you you got people on there that comment about football that that know nothing about it. Like uh, I can remember a couple of years back, they're talking about our pass rush in a game where we had about you know. 15 pressures and, and numerous hits on the quarterback and then you get people saying oh, there's no pressure on the quarterback it's like you just so for me i just say hey, give me some of that because finally somebody backed up what i said yeah me heads. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they go online and say balls he sucks he doesn't know what he's talking well, about I mean, that's <laughs> the the thing. Thing. anyway you guys came down here for yeah. a reason other than just to chit chat with us you guys wanted to give some love back to the rider fans so yeah you know uh we're, we're trying to, to promote a, a green out basically that um you know support you support us uh we, we we're trying to do a new program where uh you replace the outdoor uh, light bulbs to your houses with green lights, and then at night, you know, it's, it's illuminated green. Mm -hmm. And uh, awesome. we're trying to get as many people uh, to do it as possible. Where'd you come up with this idea? Well, <laughs> actually, I was driving through my neighborhood, and there was already a couple houses that I already had it done, and I thought that that would be a, you know awesome idea to have a whole neighborhood all you know in green lights. So Absolutely. shout out to uh, to Daryl and, Sha and Sasha because uh, <laughs> they're some of the people that they're also doing. So what's it mean? All right, we're handing out green light bulbs for your houses and. You gotta use them. You gotta put them in. You gotta use them. Yeah, so. How you doing? Put that in on your host. Congratulations on the house. Thanks, girl. Appreciate it. How you doing? Awesome. Hey, congratulations. How you doing? Do his eyes. All right, are we signing stuff too? All right, you got a pin? Okay. Marker. There we go. Good stuff. Or you only want bats on there. We got kisses already, yeah? There you go. Thanks. Got no problem. Try it.